some people are gonna see pictures of me in the background oh my god <laughs> and welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to my youtube channel if it is your first time seeing my face don't forget to click that subscribe button and the post notification bell so for today's video we are going to be discussing something real quick in a hurry um firstly i wanted to tell you guys that i'm gonna be introducing a new segment in on my channel where i'll be discussing certain things uh different types of topics and so on and so forth and um it'll most likely be based on social issues and stuff like that but i will discuss other things as well anyways let me tell you guys how that's gonna work basically it's gonna be divided into seasons and each each season will have three episodes so for this video we are going to be talking about basically mental health and but mainly anxiety without further ado let's get into the video so um why i said mainly anxiety is because i personally have i have a personal experience with anxiety with having anxiety and things like that so i just thought uh it'll be a good idea for me to discuss something that i actually know or that i have experience with so um yeah so we're basically going to be discussing that and i also feel like um it's important for me to actually make this video so so that i can educate some of you guys on anxiety and how, how it feels to actually have something like this so basically i was diagnosed with anxiety um when last year april so I, I i used to have like these symptoms where i'd feel like like i'd feel sick like i'd have headaches and i'd feel like i'd hyperventilate like my breathing wasn't okay and stuff like that so i'd have these symptoms it was more i just really can't remember some of them yeah so there was more symptoms and stuff and i'd have these symptoms i think i had them i had them for a while like for a while I'd, I'd, i would have pains in my body like my back would be sore or my neck or something you understand so i would go to the, to the doctor for this and i think i went to the doctor like maybe three times and each time when i went the doctor would always ask me um you know like how school and things like that i'd always get that question every single time it would be how school right and i don't really think much of it is this thing skew it is i don't really think much of it you know i didn't really like um think okay could school be the 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 reason for this but anyways my answer to this question will always be like oh no school is fine like there's nothing wrong with school because i didn't really think uh what would school be you know but any home so i'd get prescribed medication and all of that and i'd take my medication i'd feel better for a while and then you know the symptoms would come back and all of that so then i remember i went to the doctor again and the doctor was basically asked me the same question how school and i told him no nah, school is fun you know and then I remember he basically told me that Lele like y'all une anxiety you just we say king so it's not a thing of like I couldn't believe it or I was in shock or something it was just like I kind of knew because I remember telling myself that you what if I have something like I don't know depression or something ne and i was like oh no nah. you know i'm traumatic like that so i was just like nah girl Kathy, please do so then you know when he told me this i was a bit but at the same time i was like that makes sense so i didn't really like the whole idea of having anxiety or something like that so anyways he's busy explaining to me that i have anxiety and telling me okay this is what anxiety is so and so and so and so and so wara 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 okay shop 
then he's like um yo he asked me he's like um what type of medication do you want to go on like what do you want to do or like what do you want to do so basically he told me that i have three options and my three options were antidepressants so i was going to go on antidepressants or some anxiety medication i don't know what it's called or um therapy <clears throat> so i didn't like the thought of antidepressants i did not like the thought of go- having to go on antidepressants like i just i didn't want to see myself there and he told me that he doesn't want to put me on this anxiety medication because it's very addictive and he doesn't want to put me on it now so then i'm like okay well you know therapy is my last and only option so <clears throat> um i chose therapy right and then okay cool uh a few weeks or days went by and i started going to therapy i started going to therapy like late april i mean personally therapy i'm not gonna say it worked because if i say that then it's gonna be like and i have no anxiety at all but anyways it, it did work for me like personally it did work for me um you know i was more open i was like more in touch with my feelings because i was a person where I'd bottle up a lot of my emotions and I wouldn't talk about them at all. If I feel something, I feel it alone. I don't tell nobody. You know, I keep it to myself. And every single time I'd do that and they would always end up filling up and then I'd just explode and it was hell. So that's how I was. But then with anxiety, you know, I became more open and things like that. I was more in touch with my feelings or emotions or whatever those things are called i i actually did enjoy going to therapy because it was more of like um i was i guess i I could say i was more comfortable speaking to somebody that i didn't actually know you know about certain things and stuff that i've been through and so on and so forth whereas i wouldn't be able to speak to like my friend or i mean i used to speak to people about it well some people not everyone you know how people are but yeah i used to speak to people about it but it i i won't say it was it wasn't the same as like speaking to a therapist it it, it it's never been the same it'll never be i spoke about things that i didn't think i would be able to speak about you understand and things that i didn't like things were brought to to me brought to my attention that i didn't even know like some of the things like that i would go through or whatever like she would basically my therapist would basically tell me you know that listen this and this and this and this and you know when somebody tells you that thing brings things to your attention in that sense it's like yo what what the hell and it actually makes sense but yeah so i think that also helped me understand what type of person i am and what type of person you know and the things that i actually went through you know it helped me understand those things and what they did to me and all of that but now we're gonna speak on just having anxiety well my experience with having anxiety i don't like it i hate having anxiety and i wouldn't wish this on anybody and i feel like it's the worst thing to have like it's actually the worst thing to have like i hate having anxiety anxiety has taken away so many opportunities from me like it's taken away so many opportunities from me like for example if excuse me if i were to go for like um a modeling audition well i did i went for a modeling audition sometime last year was it last year was it this year i don't remember yeah but i went for a modeling audition and i remember just feeling so anxious like so anxious like i I was shaking the entire time i was literally shaking the entire time i couldn't even like i wasn't even functioning correctly but yeah that's why i feel like it's taken away so many opportunities from me and stuff like that and i was never this person i was never anxious like i was never like hectically nervous you understand i mean obviously you get your normal nerves like when you have to say a speech or something i'd get my normal nerves but ever since like i was diagnosed with anxiety it's like more hectic you understand what i mean yeah so that's how i feel about anxiety it's the worst thing ever i don't wish it upon anyone like sometimes you're 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 okay you're laughing then do do hey you're feeling sad you're all up in your feelings you're emotional about what you don't even know but yeah basically that's what happens well that's my personal experience i've never really had a panic attack no i haven't I haven't had a panic attack, no, so I don't know what that means for me, but yeah. 
but i also know in like social settings i'll feel very anxious or i won't feel comfortable let me not say anxious but i won't feel comfortable like and i feel like that's also part of the reason why i stopped going to parties so much because every single time when i go to like a party or a chillas or something i always feel uncomfortable like i always feel like oh god there's way too many people around me like there's way too much going on here can i please evacuate the premises like i don't want to be here anymore do you understand so i always end up feeling that way but yeah that is how anxiety has been for me also another thing with having anxiety that i've experienced is like i sometimes feel so discouraged from actually doing something that i actually enjoy like i enjoy shooting videos and doing this whole youtube thing but sometimes because of this anxiety that i have i'll feel so discouraged and i'll feel like you know what i don't want to do this understand and you know it's like something gets in your head and tells you things and all of like it tries to like and tells you negative basically negativity gets into your head and tries to discourage you from being great that's what i mean to say yes yes so i feel like anxiety actually discourages me on some occasions from being a great person and from doing things that i love and from doing them well oh i also wanted to tell you guys um my experience with therapy and how i feel about it um so I think I did actually say this but I feel like therapy did actually help me a lot and I learned so many things like I learned a lot from therapy so I personally would advise going to therapy if you're somebody who needs it it's a good investment in yourself like it, it really is I, I don't think I would be where I am today if hadn't I gone to therapy but yeah I'm also somebody who gets like a lot of support from like the people that I've told that I have anxiety which isn't actually that much but I actually get a lot of support from those people and I feel like if you're somebody who's struggling with whatever you're struggling with like you should actually talk about it because it's not gonna help just bottling up your emotions and then expecting people to assume or expecting somebody to approach you and ask you because people don't know people don't know what you're going through so you need to be open in order for people to actually understand what's happening in your life but yeah i just feel like it's really important even if you don't talk to somebody even if you have to write it down on your notepad or your notes or something on a piece of paper i don't care or write it down write down your emotions on a paper and like throw it away in the dustbin once you're done just so you can get out those feelings because it's very important that you express yourself as a person because once you stop expressing yourself once you stop acknowledging your emotions and that is very important that you acknowledge your emotions don't dismiss them don't if you're feeling sad feel sad don't feel sad and then be like nah you know acknowledge them feel sad if you want to feel sad feel sad if you want to feel happy feel happy you need to let your emotions to be free whether you like it or you don't like it because that's the only way you're going to be able to cope with whatever it is that you're going through and also another thing that i feel like is very important is taking care of your mental health is very important and i don't care how you think i don't care if you think that um nah you know what I don't have time for that or something it's important because one day you will regret it another thing that therapy taught me was that i'm never going to fully be okay ever because i had this mindset that you know what whatever i'm going through yes it will pass but it's never forever gonna be gone it's always gonna be there do you understand like i'm always it's it happened it's in the past but you know it's still something that happened it still happened and i'm never fully gonna be okay i'm never fully gonna accept it i mean yes i'll be able to cope with it i'll be able to you know make peace with it but i'll never fully be okay with it i'll never fully accept my situation or whatever it might be that i'm going through so i feel like that's also something that you also need to acknowledge whatever you're going through in your life yes it will pass trust me it will pass but you also need to acknowledge that it's you're never fully gonna be okay with it especially if it's something that's really deep that happened to you you're never fully gonna be okay with it and you're never fully gonna accept it as something that happened do you understand so i feel like it's important just for you to make peace with it done to just make peace with it and move on from that maybe yes you will be okay as a person you will make peace with it within yourself but it's always going to be something that has happened to you 
Uh, next thing we're gonna discuss is how to behave. Well, if you're somebody who doesn't have anxiety or mental health issues, how to behave around people who actually do. Well, for me, this is how I feel. So I feel as if like um, if I come to you and I tell you, Lalela, you know, this is what's going on and I have anxiety. Like I haven't actually told that many people that I actually have anxiety and stuff like that. But this child. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is like if I come to you or if I speak to you or something, I hate it when people actually like I hate it when people say like say like oh just pray about it or oh just like wh- like how people tend to like brush it off like i can just dismiss this thing like you know i can just dismiss it and i can just make it go away with magic or something like it's not i hate how people think that it's so easy like oh man this thing you know they don't take it as seriously that's what i hate and I feel like if you're somebody who doesn't have mental health issues or you don't have anxiety or depression or what else is there, all those other things, then you should be more like open-minded and more like more gentle with the person who actually does, especially if that person comes and confides in you because you don't know what they're going through. You don't know my struggles. I don't know your struggles. So yeah, but I feel like that's a, a thing in general, like in general for people in general that we should be more gentle with people because you don't we don't know each other's struggles so that's what's up anyways guys that is the end of this youtube video if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a big thumbs up like this video if you want to see more videos like this all you need to do is either leave a comment or like this video then i'll know that you enjoyed this um if you're somebody who has you have anxiety like your girl over here then you can also leave a comment in the comment section if you need somebody to talk to if you need my help advice anything come to your girl you can dm me on my instagram or on my twitter that my handles will be in the description box below don't forget to like and comment on this video and share this video to your friends if you want to join the k gang all you need to do is press subscribe currently we are on 300 and something subscribers i don't know how much it is i'm just gonna put it here but yeah road to 400 subs please tell your friends to subscribe your family to subscribe your cousins and as anybody that needs to know about this channel but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video and thank you guys so much for watching bye